Now that our character is ready, we can start fine tuning the facial animation for this character. And there's a few things that we need to remember as we work on this. So it's not a typical workflow as you would uh, be as as you would expect from uh, from being in Maya. Essentially, what you are when you are in Maya, you're adjusting the settings. You're changing the par facial parameters. There's a few there's a few things that you can change on the emotion. You can have blend shapes, uh, multiplier, and offset. But when you're playing with those settings in Maya, nothing will change directly. So what's happening is you are adjusting the settings. The audio file that you have and the settings are sent to the audio to face microservice so that it analyzes the audio and generates the animation. So the microservice is absolutely no not aware of the topology of your character or the shape of your character. What it does, it generates blend shape weights and those blend shapes weights are sent as animation keyframes and they are applied to the blend shapes of your character, which means that it, it will need to be adjusted because the character that is used in the model to generate keyframes is different from your model. So this is why when you get the animation back, you're going to start to adjusting the uh, adjust the, uh, the the facial parameters and the settings until you get the performance that you want. So once you have your animation keyframes inside of Maya, you can scrub the animation and you can make some decisions about what needs to be adjusted. All of this is iterative, which means that when you scrub the animation, you'll adjust the settings again. You'll send the audio again. It's going to generate new keyframes. It's going to put it back on your on your blend shapes, and you'll be going to be able to scrub and and adjust. And that's what we're going to do. And when you're tuning an actor's performance, well, the performance of the character itself, it's an iterative process. So there's no like recipe. I'll give you my recipe or the way that I, that I approach it, but it's always like a, 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 a trial and error until you get the performance that you want. And your goal here is to adjust your character so that whenever you change the audio or if you have multiple audio to generate, the character will stay in character and have have its personality and it's always be it always be uh, consistent with uh, with its performance. So that's the thing that we're looking for when we're setting the 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 actor performance from uh, from Ace. After that, we'll see in the next video that you can adjust the animation using Maya's tools. But what you want from the Ace microservice is to get your your actor's performance to be consistent, so that you always start with the same type of results. So the first thing we would do is we would look at the base personality of the character. In my case here. James is supposed to be a customer service avatar, which means that he's supposed to be empathetic, enthusiastic, smiling. So he's in the kind of a good mood. Uh, uh, he's, a, he's in a good mood character. If he was a bad uh, uh, a villain in uh, in a game, he would probably be more angry or uh, more neutral. I don't know. So you, you kind of explore the, the performance that you want from, from the character. So when I'm talking about the base personality, First, the audio, the level of audio will will define how strong the performance on the uh, the performance is on the character. So you want to test your audio level and adjust the skin strength to get the performance that you want for the level of audio that you have. Then uh, we want to set up the preferred emotion, and the preferred emotion is basically the emotion that is not inferred by AI. It's just the kind of the default state or the starting point for your character. And you'll see that you can adjust that. And then you need to balance between the preferred emotion, which is which is the one that you select, and the one that has been detected in the audio that's kind of diverge from that preferred emotion. So that preferred emotion is, is the starting point and it's important to set it from the start. Then after that, you define um, how much you want, uh, how much movements you want from the upper or the lower part of the skin. And you also want to adjust the lip closing because like I said, the uh, the ACE microsystem is uh, microservice, sorry, is not aware of the topology of your uh, of your character. The lip closing may not be perfect, so you want to go and adjust that. So once you have that done, you can jump into re defining how much your character can react. Is he going to change uh, emotion abruptly, or is he going to stay in personality? And and that's what you need to define. So you need to define the balance between what's inferred very what's preferred, how strong those emotions are, if there's a lot of contrast between those emotions, so you've got settings for that, and also the number of emotion that you allow your character to have at the same time. So if, if he's uh, if he's just jumping from like very smiley to very uh, angry in, in very quickly, you're going to reduce the number of emotion that you want on your character. 
So once you have that personality and you have the the, the reaction range done, you're going to the final adjustments. And that, for that, you're going to use the, the eyelids offset to adjust the, the opening of the eyes for the animation. You're going to play with the blend shape multipliers and offset to maybe balance the face or create a, a, an unbalance in the face or create as, asymmetries and things like that. And, uh, and you're going to use these tools to kind of refine the, uh, the, the final personality and the final uh, setup for your character. And once you have that, you have your character and you can throw multiple audio at the character and it will be giving you a good performance. And then after that, like we'll see in, in the video after, you can adjust this performance to make it like to add like very fine details to the performance. But we want the performance to be consistent. And that's what we're going to see here uh, in Maya. So we have our character character is ready we have our uh, player we're ready to start so what i'll do here uh, as a starting point i'm going to focus on the preferred emotion the preferred emotion here when i set it to one that means that it is going to be a hundred percent set to the preferred preferred emotion and that's what i want i want to kind of try how, how uh, the, the emotion that will work on this character right right now is pretty neutral so i want to adjust that the emotion strength i can crank it up a little bit i want him to be emotional not emotional but you know smiling uh, and have show uh, empathy so i'm going to increase that emotion strength and again it's a trial and error so you're going to adjust that we um as a trial so i'm just going to increase the amazement the cheekiness we can give it a bit of cheekiness uh it's going to be uh, joyful so i'm going to enable that and maybe a bit more and we'll see what we get and when we that's going to be our starting point to to see how the character uh behaves with this animation i'm going to request an animation and this is the result that I get. I am very excited about Audio 2 Face. Facial animation made easy and fun. So what I notice on this guy is like he's way too smiling. It's, it's a little bit too 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 strong. So that's so I'm gonna reduce that a little bit. I'm gonna reduce the joy, maybe to something like 0 0.3. I've I've tested this a bit before, so I know what kind of work for for my character. So but I'm playing with those until I get uh, something that's uh, that's good. The skin strength here. I, I want to mention it is right now it's set to one and for the audio for this character that kind of worked I didn't have any issues with that but if I wanted to have to add a bit overall of performance on that I could increase it a little bit that's um, that gives that's going to give you a little bit more range of motions so now we have a new animation I am very excited about audio two face facial animation made easy and fun I am very excited about audio. What I notice here is the up. I, I could have a bit more motion in the eyes. That would be great. So I'm going to go back here at the bottom in the face parameter. We have the lower face strength and the upper face strength. Right now it's set to one. So I'm going to just exaggerate this. <clears throat> maybe, you know, not, not too, too is might be a bit too strong. So maybe something like this. And I'm going to request an animation for that. I am very excited about audio two face. That's a little bit too strong. So go back to lower uh, upper face strength and maybe reduce it a little bit, something like this. And I'll be, uh, I think I'm going to get something decent w w uh, with that. So request animation. Facial animation made easy and fun. So now you notice that the lips are not, and this is the, the character. So it's probably, so what, I, what I'm going to do is where I really want the lips to be closed. I'm going to stay on that frame. And I'm going to go into the face parameter. There's the lips offset here. So I'm going to reduce that maybe to, let's say, let's try 0 0.2. That might be too strong, but I'm going to stay on that frame. And that might be a little bit too strong, but that's, uh, that's not too bad. So let's go back and maybe adjust it a little bit. 1.5 might be good. Something like that would be good. Let me see the animation. I am very excited about audio two face. Facial animation made easy and fun. I am very... So we have our uh, preferred emotion defined. This is where we, we want our character to be, like I said, in, in the starting point. And then we want to define how much we want to have of this. If we set it to zero, that means that this is now the, the, the animation is only inferred by AI. I am very excited about audio two face. Facial animation made easy and fun. So you see that the the emotion is kind of neutral, so we don't get we get a bit of that, but not too much. So what I'll do is I'll I'll bet more on the uh, on the preferred emotion, maybe at zero point seven or seventy five. That's you know three quarter preferred and one quarter um, inference. So we're gonna get some nuances there. And if the audio 
provides more and more emotion in 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 the voice then we'll probably have something uh, a bit uh, that's going to diverge from our but at least you know he's always in his character of being smiling and all of that so i'm going to request that animation here i am very excited about audio to face facial animation made easy and fun now I'm in the final adjustments uh, phase. I'm going to go at the bottom here where it says blend shape multipliers and blend shape offset. And this, what you'll see here is that all those blend shapes are listed and you can define an offset and a multiplier. This is your kind of a final adjustment. If you want to adjust a balance in the face or if you want to exaggerate a certain movement, that's where you would, uh, that's where you would do this. So in my case here, I'd like to have the symmetry, like the, the perfect symmetry of the smile to be a different. I would like him to smile a bit more on the, uh, on the left side. So what I'll do is I'll find the mouth uh, smile or is it it's smile left? So I'll say increase that maybe to 1.2. And the smile right here, I'll reduce it maybe to something like 0.7. That's going to give me something um, something asymmetrical. I can exaggerate this if I want to. And maybe I want to have the one of the eyebrows to, on the left side to be a bit, uh, to, to always be a bit higher. So I'll go into the offset here and look for the brow uh, upper left and increase it to something like not too much because that could be, uh, very strong if you exaggerate, exaggerate it too much. Request an animation. And now we have our... I am very excited about Audio 2 Face. Facial animation made easy and fun. I am very excited about audio. So we have our kind of our base for our character. We have a personality. This is a bit higher here. We have the smile on the side. The motion is right. He's empathetic. If that's something that we, we can live with. So if we change the audio now, if I import another, another audio file, and this one is a bit shorter, so I'll set it to 75, something like that. So 75. And I'll go to the um, to the animation player. I'll switch this to this new um, this new audio, and I'll request an animation for this. Maya Ace is super cool. I love it. Maya Ace is super cool. I love it. My so you see that switching audio character stays in um, in uh, in its per in its personality. And you can switch multiple and throw multiple audios at it, and it will stay in uh, in character. 